Hello, 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 hello. Nobody there yet. get my water. My throat's really bad this afternoon. Mm. Oh, here we go. Uh, hello, Scylla. Hello, Jacqueline. As you can hear, the voice is dreadful. Uh, Joanne uh, says hello from sunny Cambridge. Beautiful here. <coughs> Bonjour, says June. Jan says, hi, hi, gorgeous. Fran said, are you tried? I'm always feeling tried and tested me. Uh, Paula says hello. Carol says hello. Jan, the other one, says you got the day right today. Oh, no, you got the day right. Claire says afternoon, notification received. Carol says afternoon, Viv says hello. Catherine says hello. Did I miss someone out there? Hilary said, I remembered you were on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I've just got home. And because I haven't spoken to anyone, I've just been sitting down on the sofa and that's kept, set my throat off again. Uh, <coughs> Lizzie says hello. Susan says hello from Pat. Uh, hi, John, from Pat and Susan on the Isle of Wight. Afternoon, John. Uh, you do sound poorly. The thing is, Sue, I'm not poorly. It doesn't hurt. It, all it does is it's, it's the gastric reflux. It's just burnt that bit on my back throat, doesn't it? <coughs> <coughs> and I'm very, very phlegmy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> For some reason, Patricia says hello. Elaine says hello. Um, afternoon, everyone says Sue. Maureen says ages since I caught you all live. Pauline says hello from sunny Warrington. I don't think I'm going to be going back to Warrington at this rate, Pauline. Oh, Claire, <coughs> who's in Silverstone, uh, says it's just chucked it down there. Uh, Christine says good afternoon. Oh, there's Judy from Kyneton. Karen says afternoon from sunny, gorgeous sunny Wigan. Princess says what a gorgeous day it is. Uh, the, uh, Carol's grandson is two weeks old tomorrow. Margaret says, good afternoon. Bernie says, hello. Roxanne says, I'm out in the garden potting things. Have you tried chilled water? I'm just, that's just what I'm having now, friend. Uh, Alison says, afternoon, sweetest. Greetings to all. Hope you're all well. Thank you. Anne, where have you been, Anne? I haven't seen you for ages. I'm watching from, oh, oh, no. Is he all right, Anne? She's watching from her hubby's hospital bedside. Sending lots and lots of love. Uh, Annette, no, 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 Annette, it's better when I talk. If I don't talk, then it goes like it just did then. So when I left the studios at half past one, I spoke to the lady in Marks and Spencer's, but that's all. I haven't spoken to anyone, so I've just literally sat downstairs not talking. So it was all very dry. If I have some water and chat, I'll be absolutely fine. Hopefully it'll sort itself. You see, when I have a drink, it starts feeling fine. Anne says, good afternoon from Sunny Yeovil. Christine says, hello, gorgeous. Susan says, good afternoon. Shirley Morell. Hi, John, everyone. You I'm not poorly, Shirley. It's just gastric reflux. It's just, well, it's not even gastric reflux, so they don't even feel it. It's silent reflux. Uh, hi, still cold here in South Wales. Suzanne says, raining in Aberdeenshire. Margaret says, you need your ginger water. I've got, I've had my ginger water all morning. I'm gingered out today. Um, but I've bought some new ginger tea bags today. So hopefully that'll be right. Yoo-hoo from all in sunny Lum Northumberland, says Jill. Helen says, got a notification. Sharon said, I'm just coming from inside and doing some gardening. Belinda says hello from Newmarket. So I'm just, hello everyone. Lovely day in Somerset. Maureen said, so much pollen around. It could be, it could be because, I, you know, I get really bad hay fever. Uh, Jan says, hi from, so I just hate getting old because you just get all these things wrong with you, don't you? The other Jan says, the fog is back here. no. No. I know it's really foggy this morning. It's lovely here. Look. Oh, it doesn't actually look that pretty at the moment here. Uh, I'd left the back door open. I've got a clean bit of floor now. Oh, with the rain. Oh, no. Afternoon from absolute down point, Sunderland. On to my second Lisa land bag of the day. She's on again on Sunday. Have you seen my Facebook page? Margaret. Hello, John. Sorry for a bit late. No, literally, I've just four minutes. I've been here four minutes. Enjoying sitting in the garden in the sun. Oh, in Warwick Gates. That's Margaret from Warwick Gates. It's not sore. It's not sore. It's just phlegmy. And there's no pain to it whatsoever. It's just phlegm. I'm sorry to be rude. Hello again, Suzanne. Hilary says honey and olive oil. 
Hillary, last time I took honey with this, it blocked up the whole of the top of my throat and I panicked because I couldn't breathe. Oh, Anne says they've moved her husband into the cardiac ward. Oh, can't have honey, June, because it really, I'm frightened. It frightened me last time. Francis said, good afternoon, Stuart. Stuart Riggs. Hi, John, it's been ages. My bad for doing too many projects. Now I've got time to watch and catch up. Well, yeah, you were doing so much for the um, coronation, weren't you? Anne says hello from North Lincolnshire. Derek's afternoon, John and all, taking a break from shirt packets. How many shirts are you making, Derek? <coughs> Princess, it could be to do with my hay fever. Uh, Karen had a disaster this morning with some quilting. Skip stitches, so I'll put it down and I'm making a dress instead. I don't blame you. Oh, look up. That's the starting of a dress there. Julie Vaughan says hello. Uh, Jean up in Durham says it's warm up in here with large spots of rain. Sue says good afternoon. June, thoughts on that? I haven't seen, I don't know anything about it, um, June. My um, Sally, one of my next door neighbours, she told me about it yesterday. I'll have to, I'll look that up. Danny, it'll be horrible because Danny may know it's rubbish. Um, Sunny and Grantham. Sharon said, my fabric arrived. What are you doing after your facial tomorrow? Oh, I've got to clean my house from top to bottom. It's filthy. How's the certain cat? The wardrobe, uh, he's fine. But um, Ghost was away for four days. He came back. Uh, yesterday afternoon, hungry, 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 just slept and slept. He's gone again now. Claire says the rain stopped again now, beautiful. Afternoon, I've been cutting out the crown with love quilt today. Yeah, no, a year behind. Had to stop. Though, as I appear to have too much of some fabric and not enough of the other. <coughs> Which one's that, Teresa? Is it the Sarah Brangwin one? If so, tag her, tag her. Do you take meds for your acid reflux? Well, I try not to, but no, I've got amoprazole. And, yeah, amoprazole is what I take. Uh, oh, and uh, Luther got caught in... I put my washing away the other morning in the wardrobe in the spare room. Luther obviously got in it. And then the middle of the night, that night, he was banging and banging. It sounded like I was being burgled. Sazzy says, afternoon. Helen says, lemon and ginger. <coughs> lemon and ginger made a top drink. Should do it. Yeah, the only trouble is lemon is bad for gastric reflux. So I can't have a lemon drink because it'll set it off even worse. Have you tried gargling with port? Right, well, I don't drink, Derek, but I've got a bottle of port in my wardrobe, my wardrobe, my cupboard downstairs that I've had for about... Well, I, had, I got it as a present when I was at um, um, Rocks and Co. If my throat goes wonky, not cold like you, I go fizzy water, hot water or chilled water. Oh, OK. <coughs> June says cats are funny creatures, aren't they? Misty didn't eat things for two days now. I won't stop eating. Yeah, they Oh, somebody looked up on the show. June, they like to be in control and they like to eat sporadically. Right. Um, did you find if you're actually... Never heard a thing, Jill. Never heard a thing. I, I emailed them saying what's going to happen with my biopsy. Um... Nothing, never heard back from them. Went for blood tests last week and there's absolutely nothing, nothing on the blood test. Uh, don't distract Karen, she's putting a Kazeel tip in. Uh, it's Carrie from Living in Lovely. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah, because uh, she does her own, but is it one of her bundles or one of ours? But message her, message her. I used to take him up with Officer Jacqueline, but GP is chip. No, right. Okay. Lands are pro. It's much, much better, but it's more expensive. So they don't want to give it to you unless they have to. So I'm going to have to go and ask. There's one even better than that, apparently, according to my brother. Everyone defaults to Levin, the most acidic, acidic thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, when you were telling about Luther on Sane Street, I thought you were t telling us a ghost story when you said... <coughs> the wardrobe's no moving. No, he's just desperate to get out. They changed Paul's anoprazole to Lanzoprazole. Oh, and at half the dose. Oh, maybe. I'll ask. Uh, let me see how you spell it. Lanzoprazole. Okay. On the way to Orgy, she's got new dungarees. Oh, God, no. Um, Marina, what are you going there for? You're, taking, you're going on the horse. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? Let's have a look. <coughs> I might not stay as long today, only because I don't want to, because uh, I've been talking for five hours already, so I might not stay too long today. But I might fancy going for a walk later. Dulce's not around. She's had to stay in London this weekend. <coughs> and you know what it is? 
there's a big bit of, this is horrible, there's a big bit of phlegm sitting there. And if I could cough that up, I know I'd be fine. It's just trying to get it out. And all the coughing to bring it up is making my throat sore, isn't it? When I was little, <coughs> when I was little, I used to have this a lot. I didn't know what it was at the time. And I've seen a school nurse and she used to give me this brown liquid. And it was absolutely disgusting. Uh, really disgusting. And you drink it, then I had to sit in a room. And within about 10 minutes, you started coughing and you coughed all the phlegm up. Oh, Centrum. I'd forgotten about Centrum. I'd completely forgotten about that. I'll get that out of the cupboard now. Will you be watching Sound Beat? No, I don't think so. Um, Stuart, how's Sound Street going? Of course, a bit this morning. No, a bit. We're in a new set, Stuart. We're in a new, completely new set. Uh, glad I finished my ice cream. Go and have a good cough in the bathroom. Better you were. Oh, hang on. Glad I just finished my ice cream. Go and have a good cough in the bathroom. <coughs> no, nothing will come up. Anyway, Vivian says, trouble with. Lou says, hi, John. Hope you're all well. Uh, can you use metallic thread in a bobbin? I've never have. No, never. Try some humidity bowl over hot water and menthol. Oh, here you go. Maureen must be a nurse. Also get my patients to sing as a vibration might loosen it off. Well, I've missed Elaine. Well, it wasn't Elaine Page today, was it? I might listen to that. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to listen to. <clears throat> Yesterday, Steve Wright had um, uh, top 20 Eurovision or something like that, didn't it? British Eurovision. I might watch that. Oh, hang on. Lands April is cheaper. That's why it was changed. Oh, OK. So that's not the one. My brother said I should have a diff. Is there one called Pento or something like that? <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't know, Anne. He has no idea whatsoever. The thing is, I did go to a very old fashioned school, so it's most probably something completely illegal. Um, that's what happens when my asthma is bad. He said it could be too in the hay fever as well. Sit in the garden, watch my great granddaughter wreck my garden. Love the sexy voice. Oh, Mari, I wish. Do you do steam inhalations? No, I'll have a go at that one. Steam. Inhalation. I had the flu bug, now it's on my chest like you. I haven't been poorly, Christine, that's the problem. <coughs> uh, what was good fun, Stuart, the new studio? What do you like about the Jewish matchmaker? I just love her and I love who she puts together. And I want them to be happy. Uh, there you go, Panto Prezol. Panto Prezol, that's the one I need. That's what Mike said I needed. Didn't they use treacle or combination to aggravate the gunk to remove it? Well, it definitely wasn't treacle. Uh, Fiona, hi, John. Oh, your voice sounds husky. I hope you're... No, I'm not ill, Fiona. I'm not ill. Oh, Amy, Nails Lady. Oh, Nails Lady Amy's watching. Uh, hello, Amy. Bit late. Sorry to see... Uh, no, no. Bit late. Sorry, says Pauline. Lovely to see you. <coughs> we'll get you sorted, said Jacqueline. We will. We will. Keep the air con off in the studio. It wasn't on today. Didn't have it. Well, it came on mysteriously on its own at one point, but it wasn't on today. Jewish matchmaker. I loved it, says Bernie. It's brilliant, isn't it? <coughs> uh, some kind of syrup. Was it? it was like, it was gloopy. It was gloopy, dark brown, quite acrid. Wasn't nice. Mind you, I like funny tasting, like a linctus. <coughs> but when I asked Mike, he said, I don't know. So, girl, hello, Fiona, it's not sexy at all. Gastric reflux, old man voice. I don't know what set it off, though. I haven't eaten anything I'm not allowed to eat. My hubby had reflex 10 years in the end. They did a tummy wrap to stop the acid. Mine is the gas, not the acid. Anyway, we used to be given liqua fruta expectorant. Oh, what colour was that? Liqua. Is that how you spell it? Fruta expectorant. It wasn't expectorant a cough mixture. Uh, hello, Ed. some says Jenny Jackson. All right, Jenny Jackson. Uh, licorice and blackcurrant sweets help me. Is that not buttercup syrup? Mm. Hi, John, everyone. Sorry, late, but gardening. Lost track of time, says Mark. Cavonia original is amazing, says Jill. Syrup of figs. That's not for your throat. That's for your bottom, So. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to start Indian matchmaker as well. Uh, June says it's thick and brown. There you go. Uh, and oh, hello, Anne. How are you, my love? Sharon says, my grandmother used to make blackberry vinegar, which was disgusting. And she gave a spoonful for everything. Ooh, interesting. 
Margaret says, sounds like syrup of figs. No, 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 no. I don't need that. I definitely don't need that. I can chat now. Zip, done. Blimey, that was quick. I had a lovely weekend last week in Scotland with my mum. And the King and I on Wednesday was amazing. I'm going to see Oklahoma next week. Uh, is it next week or the week after? And I'm going to the premiere of the new um, Take That film. Uh, and says, can't go to your local pharmacist to make your bottle of stuff to loosen it up. Yeah, we'll do. I don't know. I don't know, Anne. They're all so unhelpful, aren't they? Um, Gillian, good afternoon. Just came in from cutting the grass. You see, we're not allowed to cut the grass in our village on Sunday. Having said that, there's quite a few people out there making noise today. <coughs> we also had village table sales today, which I couldn't be involved with because I was obviously at work. But I want to know how that went as well. Oh, I know, Jacqueline, it was a shame I couldn't be in it, but that was COVID for you, wasn't it? But never mind, never mind. So let's, uh, oh, hi, Jenny Jackson and Becky Alexander Frost. I didn't see Becky come in. Where's Becky? Christina didn't see her. Uh, Mum gave us butter, sugar and vinegar all in one spoon. Ooh. I'd rather go to the pharmacist than the so-called doctors. Yeah, Fran. I'm actually seeing a friend of mine this week. <coughs> oh, am I seeing him this week or next week? Uh, oh, no, Thursday. I'll ask him. He's a doctor. I'll ask him. So what have you got to tell me? What news have you got? I can feel it here. I just need to get rid of it. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It must be really, really annoying to watch with me coughing away like this. Uh, anyway... Uh, uh, next week, oh no, no, hang on, it's normally quiet here, we had motorbikes flying up and down the lane all morning, very annoying, you know that is, don't you? Hello from my sunny garden in Kent, says Maria. Karen's got a friend, or Karen's husband's got a friend. I want to give you a hug, oh no Jacqueline, I'm absolutely fine, don't worry, don't worry, it just sounds dreadful, doesn't it? I'll be absolutely fine. It's just, I, I wish I could just, if it went up, if I've got, just get, I'll get up later, it's fine. Uh, I need to gargle with something, don't I? Maybe I'll gargle with some salt water or something. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, so I'm having my facial tomorrow. I'm going to Vix's baby shower. Oh, Ali's home again. The new, oh, new truck arriving tomorrow. Ali, aren't you going to Ord's to see her new um, dungarees? Have you tried Friar's Balsam? I don't know what that is. Mind you, if I take all of these things, I'll just be swishing around in all these things, won't I? I got a lovely email from a lady who suffers from gastric reflux. Uh, where, where'd she send it to? Here. Mrs. Fletcher. She sent me a lovely message about why I should try because she's had it as well. Uh, oh, my husband swears by gargling with salt water. That's what I'm going to do. I love a facial and a visit to a spa. Love centre parks. Was in the spa for ages. Oh, do they have centre parks in spas in centre parks? In a word, no. Oh, she's not going around to see Ord. Uh, Lynn says, sorry, late, can't stay. Turning into a difficult day. Sorry, sorry, you're having throat problems. Oh, Lynn, it's just blooming or getting old, isn't it? I must go as I've been to the garden centre. got some French beans to set off. Vivian said, I wish I'd never started taking them up. Oh, I've been on them for over 13 years now. What Now, why is it impossible to stop taking them? Oh, hang on, that's a big, big message there. Oh, okay. Gavis gone. I end up with a bad chest with hay fever or a cold. There you go, you see. Oh, there's Becky Alexander Frost. Stoneman Dave has a new dog, Smokey. He looks like he'd rip your head off. What, Smokeman, Stoneman Dave or the dog? Uh, uh, good and bit. I'm done with him here this morning to get rid of the bikes. Oh. Right, so anyway, so uh, so Monday, tomorrow, facial, clean the house. Tuesday, finish clean the house, go to Vix's um, baby shower on Tuesday night in an Indian restaurant. I do watch Glow Up. I'm on episode two. I think that's as far as they are at the moment, isn't it? Then on Wednesday, I'm on the show and I've got Hayley Marshall Say as my guest, one of my guests, because she's doing manager specials. And Stuart, Stuart Hillard is my other guest that day, both Dave and the dog. Uh, then on Wednesday night, oh, this is the motorbikes here. Um, you know, the houses where I live here, we have a little committee 
We have to meet about mowing the lawn of the village green and all that. We've got a tree now with a little plaque that we put up for Queen Elizabeth. So we've got our annual meeting on Wednesday night. Thursday, I'm meeting my friend Jeff, who's a doctor, so I'll ask him about this. <coughs> Friday, I'm back in. I've got Jane Green off. Oh, was Delphine Pauly as well? Not ordinary Gaviscon. Advance. Oh, OK. I didn't know you could get that. Advance. Where do I get that from? Do I still that get from Boots? Um, I oh, didn't know Delphine was poorly. Sandra Scarless. Just back from the hospital visiting again. Oh, you've come to visit me. What channel is Glow Up on, please? I think it's BBC. Is it BBC Three? I'm not sure. I think I have to go to the iPlayer to watch him. We're going to see Robbie Wednesday and Thursday in LinkedIn to a family centre. Robbie Williams. You're going to see Robbie Williams. Fabulous. Who loaned Ian the gold dress jacket? I don't know, Margaret. I only saw that today in the advert. Oh, he's not going to wear it on my show. Is he on with me? Oh, yeah, Friday. Uh, oh, no, Susan. I was walking around Waitrose thinking, I know. Oh, no, I didn't go to Waitrose. I went to Marks and Spencer's. Thinking, oh, what did I say I was going to buy? What did I say I was going to buy? Completely forgot. I'll get it tomorrow. I'll have it tomorrow. I'm making a asparagus risotto for my tea tonight. I was given Pep-Tac. Pep-Tac. And what that is? Pep-Tac. If I go to my doctors with this list, they're going to think I'm crazy, aren't they? Going to solve for keys for a meeting on Thursday. And the strange strike's happening on Thursday. <clears throat> it's no mo May, so you didn't cut the grass. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not cutting it, Claire. It's just a meeting about, because we have to pay for it. So we all have to put money into the kit of kitty. So because we're a company, we have to have an AGM every year. So that's it. Hi from Ebervale, says Dawn. Vivian says most chemists now stock a Gaviscon advance. Oh, I should look for that. Uh, Lo, afternoon, John sat playing with our beautiful granddaughter, Rosie. Ah, oh. Shirley Morell saying B starts next week. Really looking forward to him. I love Jewish matchmaker, but it ended too soon. Oh, no, I'm worried about that because I've been to watch it yesterday. <coughs> so I'm imagining there's only a few left. I'm not going to watch Shane B. Uh, I got that, Carol. I think I watched Glow Up on BBC One late on Monday night, says Nicola. Glow Up BBC iPlayer, but I think there's two of them. Uh, there's about, I think we're on series three, aren't we? Uh, you need an expector and cough medicine with guafenesin in it. It makes mucus easier to cut up. Guaf? No. Gua. G-U-A-I-F-E-N-E-S-I-N. -E -E Ooh, crack it. Uh, I did the embroidery on his underpants. Oh. Hang on, no. Sharon, you're talking about Robbie Williams. Uh, Carol's uh, talking about her granddaughter, her grandson. Uh, makeup. No, I can't have honey, Gillian, I'm afraid. Can't have honey. Oh, risotto sounds nice. I might make that. Yeah, uh, I'm doing uh, asparagus and pea risotto. Dylan's woken up feeling very well. I'm praying it's not tonsillitis. Oh, no. I did think about whether this was uh, needed antibiotics. I'll see you over the next couple of days. No, she hasn't got a website, Bernie. She hasn't got a website. You need to contact her via Facebook, directly on Facebook. Uh, yeah, mint tea is the worst thing for gastric reflux. Mint and peppermint, worst thing. Uh, I love halloumi and roasted veg. Oh, so do I, June. Uh, Liz says, hello, John. Sorry I'm late. Did you hear my message today, Liz, about my dress? Your dress. Patsy, Patsy. Hello, John Noel. Have you got a bad dose hay fever? My uh, oh, no, no. I don't know if it's been added to by the hay fever, but it's gastric reflux. Uh, the opera singer Roderick Williams, who's sack in Westminster Abbey for coronation, lives down the road from me in Kyneton. He made it back to sing at our village jolly last Sunday. I haven't watched, I haven't, isn't it awful? I haven't watched the um, coronation. Doesn't really interest me. Uh, not ideal if your blood pressure medication. Not on blood pressure. Not on my blood pressure's fine. Uh, Shall we stop talking about illnesses now? Let's talk about uh, the rest of this week. So, oh, it's Dulce's birthday next weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, your tea sounds heavenly. Have you tried curried nut loaf? I don't eat nuts. Listen to me, I sound all right, old mess, and I, I don't eat nuts. Uh, yeah, my ginger spice look as well. 
when is your goddaughter going to see the bond she's met? Now, what we're going to do, I, I don't know, because she lives in Glasgow. So, um, it's half for one there. Uh, so I don't know yet. Uh, I might, what I might do to start with is I might just take her wedding dress shopping to try on lots and lots of different styles in wedding dress shops. But it's just, um, whether uh, we do it in London or Glasgow. Uh, um, can you eat mustard or horseradish? I can, but well, I can't eat um, dry mustard because that's got gluten in it. Um, anyway, let's go off. Let's go off. I'm not going to read out any more about health or throats or anything like that. So this week on Sang Street, I've got Stuart Hillard and Hayley Marshall say on Wednesday. I've got Jane Greenoff. And then on Friday, I've got Hayley Marshall say, I've got Scott, I've got Hayley and I've got Ian. Because there's manager specials all week long. Now, uh, Derek, I know that they've bought lots in. So do check when you get home from work because there might be some left. You sound like the best godfather. Oh, Christine, thank you. Uh, you ready for the scrapyard? No, I'm, near, I'm nowhere near. I can't even say that. Shirley Morell. I feel quite fit after listening to you. Thanks, Shirley. That, the suffering I have to live with. Would love to see... Uh, would love to see some of your most favourite work. I haven't got it here anymore, Shirley. Lottie. Hello, John. When are you together again with Mandy? French Vicky. Hang on, French Vicky? Lottie. I don't know. Mandy's not in for ages now. Uh, Friday will be busy. Friday will be busy. Then on Saturday, I've got Amanda Little. And on Sunday, I've got Lisa Lamb. <coughs> and I've got Steffi Stern. Right, hang on. Uh, Ginger, yeah? G oh, hang on. I'm not doing, no, we're not doing any more uh, medical things now. Uh, Carol said, what a shame we don't get paid for at least a week. Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's my week. That's my week, quite a busy week. I'm hoping this will be sorted <clears throat> because uh, it must be awful to the viewers to listen to. But never mind. Never mind. So what's anybody else want to tell me? Anybody got any news before we go off? It's been here half an hour already. I'm going to stop talking. Um... I'm just trying to think what what uh, so uh did you watch the end of married at first sight no yeah married at first sight australia uh like i say i'm watching um jewish matchmaker i love it it's brilliant um don't really have any more news oh cat producer cat got engaged i'll tell you that you knew that uh vix has finished now <coughs> oh carol's off uh vix has uh finished now we've got her i will i'll see her on tuesday evening I've got to buy her a present. What am I going to buy her? I was thinking I might get her a spa day for a new mummy. I'm off to cabin in Wales tomorrow, taking my iPad. Uh, that certainly is. Did you watch any of your revision? No, Jacqueline, I've seen nothing. I've got it all on tape, but I haven't watched it. Oh, now, news from Stuart. He's stopping fabric at the shop. Price is going up and people want more wool. So phasing it out. Oh, that's dramatic. Uh, I don't know when Vixie's babies are due. Beginning of June. I, I, in my brain, I've got the 11th, but I don't know why. But they're keeping an eye on her in case they have to induce her before that. I will give Vicky your best, I promise. I've just ordered some Gemini alphabet letters. Did you order them on my day? Um, have you seen Series 2 Next in Fashion? Yeah, watched all of that. Binge watch that one. I got a very nice Sewing Street voucher for my birthday. I don't think Vix would want a Sewing Street voucher, will she? Spa day would be brilliant. Uh, Claire's doing a spring fair next Sunday in Syersham. That's near uh, Silverstone. John, will Vix have time for a spa day with two new babies? Yeah, of course she will. She'll need it. She'll need to get a day out, won't she? She can't be at home with two babies and a two-year-old. She'll need some time to herself. Oh, and the glue. You got the glue. Well done. As long as you bought it when I was on air, that's the main thing. We've got the new uh, Gemini machine launching on the... Is it the 30th or the 31st? I can't remember now. Of this month. Just started watching Married First Sight New Zealand. Oh, no, no. I've never heard anybody talk about that one, Jan. Spa day, uh, for the, yeah, brilliant June. The best thing you give Vicky is an hour or two baby minding so she can catch up on some sleep. Yeah, she can go to the spa. Sure, 
Moda would end up at £16 to £18. No. A metre? Well, that's how... Yeah, I announced that yesterday. Ours is going to be £17. £17 a metre. I know. Oh, yeah. It's difficult shipping it elsewhere, isn't it? No, go to wool. Go to wool. That'd be the best thing. Go to wool. You don't want anything. You don't want your stock room full of um, fa expensive fabrics, do you, really? Now, it's a good idea. I think you should specialise. Definitely, Stuart. Definitely. Um, so what else? What else? Any other messages before I go? I've got to do something about this. I'm going to go gargle now. Some interesting costumes in Eurovision. Love the jackets worn by Australia. Oh, hang on. I'll be having a 40% off sales to shift it soon. To keep an eye out of the coming months. Just tell me and I'll let them know, Stuart. In fact, when's it going to be, Stuart? Maybe that's when I can come and visit. I'm just about to get my July dates as well. Uh, I think she'll need more than one spa day. Yeah, but she's got a rich husband for that. Uh, my friends just had twin grandsons. I made two of them teddy cushions. Oh, that's nice, Anne. Off now, so Shirley. Take care. Have a good week. Hope you're back soon. So do I, Shirley. Uh, oh, Lynn's watching Married First Out Australia, uh, New Zealand as well. Yeah, my birthday. on. I'm doing um, birthday shows on the 17th, 18th and 19th. Oh, there you go. Bernie loves wool. Bernie, if you've got any of his lavender lav and blue, that's nice. That's really lovely wool. Uh, okay, any more messages? Any more for any more? Amy sent me a very rude message about my sore throat. Uh, give eggs, I love. I will do, Christine, my love. I'll pop along to Stuart's, let us know. Yeah, yeah, if I'm going to go and do the sale, if it's a day when I'm there, I'll let you know. Uh, and my pleasure. You take care, my love. All the best people. When's yours, Karen? It's near mine, isn't it? I can't remember when yours is. What day is yours? Debbie! Debbie, we're just going because my voice is conking out. I'm waiting on my yarn lane order. Expected tomorrow. Looking forward to getting started. Uh, that was Jacqueline. Going to do an online sales show. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Or you come down for the day, Derek. What would you like for your birthday? Oh, um, I, I've got enough. I don't need anything for my birthday. I'll miss your birthday as I'll be on holiday in Madeira, says Margaret. Oh, get you. Oh, that's right. You're the eighth. Um, Karen's eighth. Enjoy your days off. I will. Cleaning my house. Did you still take your car insurance? Yes, I did, Debbie. I just rang them up and I got it reduced. Huge amount. Huge amount. Send me your free times. I think that means not fee. Three times to July and August. I will do, definitely. Oh, Jacqueline loves it, Madeira. Right. Oh, hang on. What bin is it tomorrow? Refuse and food caddies tomorrow. Brilliant. Uh, my panel for competition arrived just there. Started my block. Oh, that was quick, Jan. Uh, I will enjoy my facial. Half past nine tomorrow morning. Think of me lying there with warm towels and being massaged with all beauty creams. Um... <clears throat> Very disappointed with the ending of Married at First Sight. No, it was really weird, wasn't it? They didn't show half of them. Jean, great tune in, going to serve dinner. Mark says, hope your voice gets better. So do I. It sounds good. Rachel, just home after your sewing weekend retreat. Oh, lovely, Rachel. Pauline says, take care. Off to bell ringing. I used to do that. Campanology, it's called, isn't it? Uh, oh, look, sure will, Derek, on my monthly lives and on YouTube and on my website. That's his sale. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <clears throat> How brilliant. Right, I'm going to go then. It's 33. I'm going to go and make my tea. I'm starving, actually. And risotto takes ages, doesn't it? Because of all the stirring and everything. Uh, so now, fun, how funny. Scylla was the first one on Nash Day. Bye bye. Have a good week. I will. Thank you. Bye, Sue. Uh, thanks for chat. Have a great chat. Have a great week. I will. Thank you, Claire. Bye, John, says Carol. Oh, dear, listen, it's getting worse. Christine says bye. Helen says bye. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a lovely week. Week. Has anyone had a deep tissue massage? It's like, it hurts, Carol. A deep tissue massage really hurts. But it's good afterwards, but you hurt. Have a lovely day, says Sue. Sharon says, I can't eat solid yet, so I'm super hungry. Why, what have you had done? I can't remember what you've had done. Uh, Fran's on ginger beer. Hilary says, take care. Carol says, bye. Princess says, bye. Anne says, bye. Margaret says, bye. Enjoy your tea. Missing you already. One day I'll drive past your house and toot my horn when I'm going around to see Vicks. 
Go in, says Stuart, be lovely to catch up with you all. Fiona says bye. Jill says bye. Jan says lovely to see everyone. Weather's looking better this week. Oh, is it? I'll get my garden furniture out. Rest your throat, says Liz. I will. And I've signed up. Oh, no, I know I forgot to tell you. I know I forgot to tell you. Mandy Shaw wants me to remind you that her secret society is open. Right, hang on a sec. Hang on one second. I knew there was something else that wasn't on my list. Now, where did she send me the message? Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's have a look now. Uh, Mandy. Oh, no. I know it's on that one. No, it must have been on WhatsApp. Uh, there you go. Right. What you need to do is... Uh, good morning. Oh, hang on. Uh, she's in Spain at the moment. So the signing up of the Secret Society, it's a 12-week block of the month making three projects all based on red work. The first is a 12-day Advent Kyle style, style poxy calendar using linen and her new uh, Christmas fabric. The second is a large pocketed denim project bag with lots of ditzy embroideries and great bag haberdashery. Third project is a trio of cushions or a wall hanging. Alongside this, each month they get sweets, newsletter, quiz, recipe, occasional gift, discount codes and access to their own website and Facebook group. Mandy Shaw, Dandelion Designs. Dandelion Designs. Um, anyway, that what Anne reminded me she's doing Polly Dolly two-day course in Ulster. Ooh, whereabouts in Ulster are they doing it? Bye, have a good week. I'm doing Lemon and Courgette Risotto. Lovely. Judith says bye. The other Jan says bye-bye. Oh, there you go. Jacqueline got an email about the uh, Secret Society. John Kerr just burnt my treacle tar. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late. I'm just leaving, Kath. Such a beautiful day. Went out for lunch and walked by the river. Lovely. Judy, hi, John. And Chance, you can ask for a mini knitting machine to be on the show. I need to make eye cord. Judy, send me an email because I don't know what that means. And then I'll ask them. Treacle tart, lovely. Bile, says Derek. Off to attach a sleeve and swear at buttonholes. Uh, Derek, you need to get that new um, Juki machine. It's all open. Go to the website. Sign up, says Lottie. Uh, gotta go, by. Thanks for the catch-up, says Sue. Yeah, I'm gonna go now as well. I don't know what's John Cheryl. What's John Cheryl, Anne, and when is it? Uh, Kathy, Kathy says, sorry, I'm late, so I'm going now. Oh, there you go, June signed up for the Secret Society. Make sure you go and have a look at Dandelion Designs. I'm not making any money from it. It's just me, I said I'd, I'd plug it for her. And also, don't forget Jenny Jackson. She has a subscription one as well. So go and have a look. And, and, um, oh, um, can't remember. What's that? What's that? Uh, I think I'll do the other one next week. Right, I'm going. I'm going and going because I can't talk. Uh, have a lovely week. See you later. Lots of love. Bye.